Afternoon everybody, Rich here, back for part 9 of this SS Normandy tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the rudders, the propellers, the masts, loads of other small details as well. Um, I'm just moving on to the uh, smaller stuff now. We've got all the big stuff out of the way, like the deck houses and the funnels and things. So now we're just uh, sort of fitting the ship out with uh, smaller details, so... Um, yeah, we are getting there. Uh, first job for today, uh, we're going to move down to the bridge. This is actually the last job I've got written down, but I thought I'd better go and uh, get this one out of the way first. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the first funnel, which is this one here, of course. We're going to add a wall of white blocks around the edge of the ship. or not or, Well, around the edge of the funnel, rather. So we've got the uh, deck house here, and um, we got the wall, which is already five high. So basically, just want to increase it to six high all the way around. So, well, six high around three sides and two high around the front there. So we just increase it to six high all the way around. And then we can go under the front because there's a bit of um, sort of aerodynamic device that goes on the front. Sort of like a, a breakwater on the bow, but it's actually a smaller curved wall that goes on top of the bridge. I'll explain that when I get to it. But first we'll just get all the gubbins done around the top of this row here. Right, and then across the front, increasing it to too high around the square wall there. And around there and along here. And there we go, there's that wall all added. I will do the same around the second funnel as well, but we'll worry about that later on. And you can add a few doors and windows. There isn't a lot of doors and windows that go on this deck house, but um, I'll have a look at the prototype in a minute and we'll go through it then. Um, so, what we're going to do now is on the. Uh, we're on top of the, the actual bridge wheelhouse now. We're on the left-hand side. So at the back of the bridge here, you're going to build a row of blocks out to the uh, out to the side three. So basically, from the wall that's around the funnel, you build three out that way, um, and then you build four forwards. So one, two, three, four like that, and then back in three. One, two, three. Um, I'm try, <laughs> trying to work this one out. And then two, sorry, two, and then uh, forward five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then four rows of three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rows of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that sixth row should be the center block. And that is, I think, just about right. It is right on the center there. So I'll do the same on the other side. So what was it? It was out three, wouldn't it? So it's out three, forward four. Four, and then back in three, I think, and then two, and then five forwards. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then four rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then twos for the rest of it. So one, two, three, four, five rows of twos. And there you go. There's your uh, sort of well. Breakwater aerodynamic device, whichever it is, it's uh, on there on top of the bridge. And then, so once you've done that, you just want to increase it to, to two blocks high, all the way around. I'm just trying to think, is, is, was, did I actually build this two blocks high on the prototype? I better check that. Uh, well, it looks two blocks high from here because it's the same height as the funnel one. So I, I carry on building it two blocks high. Um, it's up to you if you want to build this two blocks high. Entirely up to you. I'm just going to do it because I did on the original. But it's, it's um, you can either be two blocks high or one block high or uh, one and a half block high. It's up to you how you want to do this. But I'll build it too high just for the purpose of this. Right, there we go. That is that area done. And you don't need, there is no roof to add to this. It's just an open space um, for the purpose of, I think, aerodynamics. Because uh, you know the French, they like their curved walls. So that's that. And that was that little job on what I'd done. And, um,. Yeah, I thought I better, be, I better thought I better do that one first, otherwise I'll forget. Right, so now what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the bridge wings, and we're on the left-hand side one for the minute. You just want to add a wall of blocks around the bridge wing, uh, around the bridge wings to this corner here. So I just add the bridge wings, well, the bridge wing wall anyway, because at the moment there is no wall around the edge. It's usually one of the first jobs I do with the bridges, but. Uh, <coughs> I didn't, didn't do it today, or didn't do it uh, in the video. So there we are, up to that corner there. Now, we have got those two blocks there. You can either build it like that, or build it like that. I'm just going to build it like that for now, 
because it doesn't really affect or detract from the design. Um, if you want to, you can remove these two blocks here and then replace them with wood blocks because uh, the way they are. So it's up to you how you want to do that one. We'll do the same on the other side. Just add the wall around. To there, and then we can get rid of those two blocks there and then that's as far as the wall will go because the rest of the side will be uh, handrails you know um, iron bars and things like that so that is the uh, bridge wings sorted out there now we'll go down to the uh, overhang side of the ship so we've got the overhang side here with the uh, windows along there and you just want to add a few windows now to the curved front so where the, the walls curve round and head towards the square wall there. We want to add a few windows, so I shall start. Let's try to think on the on the prototype how they laid out. So I think what we do, we've got all the windows there, so we leave say a three block gap. I'll put a window there. Once again, three blocks high. And I'm just doing this at random. You know, so we've got the windows there, three block gap window, then one, two, a two gap, and then a window. So we've got a two gap there. Then another two gap, we had another window. And then another three gap because of where the walls are curved. We add another window. So you sort of got the windows like that. And then round the side, because or round the front basically, because the walls are so tightly curved. With another window here. So you're sort of uh, in that area there. And then a two gap. Put a window. Two gap. Window. Two gap again. Window. And then two gap again. And that is the windows all round to the well, not to the centre, but round to the uh, square wall there. And that is roughly, you know, how the windows are. Uh, it's it's not how it's is on the real ship, but you know, it's up to you how you want to interpret it. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick copy paste to the other side just to get this out of the way, and then we'll go through it then. So I'll just copy it round to the centre there. We do copy flip to the right and then we paste and yep, the windows are in place there so um, not strictly accurate but uh, it's as close as I could have got to the real thing the photographs are a bit sketchy in this area but you know I do apologize um, wholeheartedly if you like um, then we go to the next deck up now just below the bridge we've got more windows to add now these are more I don't know whether these are more porthole like if you like but uh, if you want to, you can add. Um, I'm actually just checking to see what the height of the windows was. <laughs> but uh, on the prototype, I built just single windows, so just single block windows like that. So that's the centre, and then a three block gap either side. So you've got three windows like that, and then one, two, three gap window, one, two, three gap window, one, two, three, or out to the side if you like. So that's a few windows there. Once again I'm, I'm just sort of doing this at random so one two three gap window one two three gap window and that would do around the side or around the front at least and then for the sides I don't know underneath the bridge wings you can sort of add a door there which I haven't got available so I have to go get one so put a door there and then sort of a window there and I think that would do really so you just want a door and a window underneath the bridge wings and um, that'd be pretty much it. So where did I put the door? Put the door there, and the window there. And there we go. So I'm just going to go inside there and make sure that everything's right. It's dark as hell in here, but uh, yeah, we've got that wall there. I did build that. I couldn't remember doing it. Right. So that's the uh, that little bit done. So that's underneath the bridge wings. So I don't really need to worry about any more windows there. And uh, I have added all the windows down the side. As you can see, we built these in um, in part eight. I think it was all the side windows. So we've got all them out of the way along the side here. These um, spread windows. So we've got all them out of the way down both sides. Um, so yeah, that is that little job. Uh, we will come back to this section as well. We've got the breakwater on the bow. We're going to come back to that later on. But um, first of all, there is a little job I could do. There is handrails that go around the edge. Uh, around the edge of the uh, breakwater. So what we do, 
along the edge of the brake water all the way around the front around to the other side we just add iron bars which is handrails effectively so we just add these all the way around all the way around the tip of the bow and there, there are a few blocks where you're going to be building like that so when you build inwards you're going to be over one of the grey blocks so the thing to do remove the grey block and replace it with a white block and then put the fence on top like that same with the next one along just put white blocks where there are no white blocks and then we can just build the iron bars over the top like that and same on this side as well so white block there white block there and a white block there and then iron bars for the rest of it and this, this is normally a detail that I leave to the last because it's you know it's just handrails and it's sort of just cosmetic but I thought I'd get this out of the way as it's on the folks on it gives it a bit more uh, well detail there's a lot of details that goes on this folks because the ship is so simple well not simplified but it's it's such a unique design of ship but uh, anyway there we go there's the uh, iron bars added now roughly you got uh, sections here. So you got sections of say eight and eight, or eight and seven, seven. So one, two, three, four sections along. You're going to remove one part of uh, the uh, iron bars and remove two blocks of the white. Then we're going to grab some quartz stairs, and we're going to put a staircase in. So put a stair there and a stair there, and that gives you access to the forecastle. And that is on the real ship, so. Uh, so I'll get that out of the way and do the same on the other side remove that and that block and block there we go, we've got stairs on the folks, I'm sure they're on the real ship I'm, I'm pretty certain because I've got photographs of the models anyway that's uh, something but anyway you've got uh, access to the folks or anyway not as though you've got access to anywhere else because there's no doors but uh, that's not important right now right so what we're going to do now we're going to go to the stern of the ship, the back end then we're going to work on some bits down there. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to fly all the way down to the back end. And we've got a little swimming pool to add. There's uh, a swimming pool on this square section. So right down to the main deck on the stern. So right to the, well, basically the bottom deck of the top, basically the bottom top deck, <laughs> if you like. And you've got this square wall here, which is... Uh, quite a large square wall and on this top here there is a swimming pool now I'm just trying to uh, find my notes how big the swimming pool is um, 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 um. bear with me a second dee, 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 dee. Ah, yes there it is right I've got it written down <coughs> excuse me <coughs> right for the pool itself we're going to go to the center block of the back wall here so remember I'll right above the uh, stern Gonna go one block forward on the wood, so that's the wood there, one block forward. Then we cut a hole. And this pool is gonna be seven wide, so that's three either side, so like that. And twelve for the side, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then twelve. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And get rid of everything else in the middle. So we'll just use well did it to get rid of everything here. Like that, so now we've got a big hole with something in the middle, and um, that's the the uh, diameter of our pool. So now what we need to do is just add a wall around the edge, and depending how deep you want the pool, because I think two blocks depth is uh, sort of the norm really. So a pool pool diameter or pool width, uh, the the base of the pool is like that, and for the inside of the pool we'll go to about here. So we go one two might as well make it three aren't we so you got uh water in here and you also got the uh, the top so I build the pool at a depth of well depth of two but three down really so from the center blocks of the pool you build down one two three and that's the depth of the pool so when you jump in you got uh, the water will be up to this point here and you still have one block above uh clearance so we're just fill in the rest of the pool you don't really need to fill in everything here because uh, just enough to uh, stop the water from leaking out that's the main thing <coughs> so 
So that's the bottom of the pool nearly done, I think. And then just build down at the sides. And you have got a bit of a, a space issue around it, but uh, if you want to uh, do any adjustments, then by all means. With the front, the, the the pool doesn't have to be this deep. It's just the way I've designed it. There isn't really much of a design to it because it's just basically a, a a hole in the deck. There we go. Oh shit, it's dark. All right, got to get out. Got to get out. Don't know where I am. There we are. Right. So there's the pool in all its empty glory. And uh, yeah, don't look too bad, do it? Right, so now what we want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is either side of the pool on this deck here and on the, and the subsequent decks as well, really. So where we've got the straight wall here next to the pool, we've got a straight wall here and it goes out two and then uh, six. So on this row of six here is where we want to build a staircase. So we'll get rid of that block there. And we'll get our wood stairs. Wood stairs. And we'll start building a staircase. Let's put stairs, stairs, and then block underneath the support. Stairs, block underneath, stairs, and stairs. Like that. And then we add, at the bottom, we add the banisters basically. So two up, two up, two up, two up. And same on the other side two up, two up, two up two up like that. So that's one staircase there and also sort out underneath. You can make it too wide if you want there so you've got plenty of access either side but I've just made it one wide because of you know me being simple so uh, it's um, you know, build it like that so that's one staircase and we'll go to the next deck along and it's actually the same line so in keeping in line with the deck of the, with the staircase we just built go to the next deck forward and go to the top and we'll start building the staircase there as well so stairs stairs block stairs I just rearrange my blocks a minute because it's starting to annoy me so I we'll do uh, block stair stairs and then stairs so there we go there's the next row of stairs and at the same again we build two up two up two up two up and then two up two up, two up, two up, like so, and the same underneath, just add a block to cover off all the uh, underneath of the wood. So there we go, that's that staircase done there, so you've got two staircases which are in line with each other, so you can go from the bottom deck up to the next deck to the next deck, and then keeping in line with the deck again, walk all the way forward, and we do the same again. Now this is slightly more awkward but uh, we can move it slightly either to the left or the right. I'm going to move it to the left because of uh, where it is because the curve here is slightly different to the one below. So we're going to have to move, say, one block to the left. So we'll build our stairs here. So we're in line. So keeping in line with the uh, deck below, let's go up to the wall and then move one block to the left and then we'll build the stairs there. So that's what I'm going to do here. And we just add the stairs. There we go. And then same again, we go two up, two up, two up, two up. And then two up, two up, two, two up, two up. And then we'll cover up, well, the bottom's already covered up anyway, so there we go. So that is three staircases that go from basically boat deck right the way down to the main deck. And uh, it should look something like that. And then what you want to do is just do the same on the other side of the pool. So I shall use World Edit, because I can, and cheat. And uh, copy and flip to the other side. So I'm going from there, down to the centre at the back, down to there. And we should do copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go. Three staircases on the stern there, or three pairs of staircases now. And uh, it should look something like that. Don't look too bad, do it? Right, now for windows, we've got some more windows to add. And these ones go from, uh, like on the bow, you've got the curved, or well, the outside edge of the ship here, the outside windows which go along the full length of the ship. And then the wall curves back inwards again, round to the stairs. Now these windows are basically the same as what's on the side. We just add, build them three high, 
leave a three or two block gap and window and then say a one or two or three block gap whichever you like window there and then put another one there so once again I'm just doing this at random but sort of keeping them evenly spread out well, roughly evenly so I just build around to the curve and then around onto the back wall round to that and then round to the centre so I build another window there and then another window there and that's up to the centre as you can see so you've got windows along the back here around the back like that so once again I'm going to use world edit just to copy paste to the other side just to save a bit of time so down to there copy flip paste and there we go that's the windows done on the other side and uh, yeah don't look too bad but fairly basic I could keep saying it you know it looks alright but it's, you know it's only basic um, but, you know it's it, it will do the job um, and same for the next deck below we've got a few windows to add there and these windows are well pretty much the same really um, well going back to the deck above really you can uh, where I've added so many windows I've not added any doors so if you want to you can remove one or two windows say remove these two here either side of the centre and then you can put a door or two doors there and then two doors there however you wish you want to do it and then you could add a, a window above or something like that, it's entirely what you want to do up to you what you want to do so that's uh, a quick <laughs> quick uh, redesign of that area there so now the same on the deck below these windows are slightly different uh, along the side because these are the single window uh, porthole design but uh, along the back here we just do the same design of three high windows so three high there three high there, once again just doing it at random because I haven't really got any instructions for this so windows round like that and then we go up to the center so I had a window there and a window on the other side just so I can get this right and then we put another pair of doors in I think a pair of pair of doors and then windows like that you know I'm just doing this at random and we get another window in the middle like I said just doing it at random and seeing what I come up with so that is that side and I just do once again copy paste to the middle and it should be okay on both sides so up to there copy flip paste and that is both sides of doors have rearranged themselves for some reason so there we go doors are fixed and uh, yep, there we go got the windows on that side as well and it's pretty much the same on the deck below and I'm going to leave this for the minute because there's some detailing here I think needs to be added as well but uh, yeah I made a mistake here uh, well it's not really a mistake it's just uh, where the copy paste hasn't worked properly so I need to uh, how has this worked so windows there oh I see what I've done I've not copied the uh, top part of it, so I need to re-add the windows, which I didn't copy-paste properly. Right, bear with me a second. Just fixing these. This isn't a, a, a build error, this is just me, my incompetence during the copy-paste process. So there we go. There's those windows fixed there. And so for the ones below, I'm just going to go to the other side for this to make sure I've got this right. Yeah, how, how it is on this side. I'm going to leave this for the minute, because there's a blank space here below those windows. And these windows around here could be left blank for the minute as well. I may come back to these later on, but I'll uh, worry about that another day. Right, so now the next job we want to do is to add a white wall, or a wall of white blocks around the edge of the stern. And what we're going to do, we're going to trace the, uh, the, the, the end of the wood. So we'll go from the centre wood block of the stern, so at the very end of the stern here, of the wood blocks. And what we're going to do, let me try to think, how did I do this? I think what we'll do, we'll trace along the edge of the black so I'll just do a quick test run of this so I trace along the black like so 
and it don't look too bad okay so that's uh, that bit so I just fix the bits that I missed and uh, that's that side so I did the same the other side so a trace along the black I did say originally trace along the wood but a trace along the black instead because the black is there's more black than there is of the uh, wood overhanging so so don't have to worry too much <coughs> right so there we go that is the uh, back wall of the stern done so we're getting plenty out of the way um, God, that stern does look weird from in, and there's it's a weird, unusual shape. But anyway, that's all done. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, do a bit more reading and writing things down, and I shall return in a couple of minutes. So uh, back in a mo. Okay, back again. Now our next job is to build the rudder and the ship's four propellers. So we're at the back end of the ship, and now we need to do is move down to the bottom of the back end underneath the uh, ugly stern and with the power of night vision we're going to see what we're doing oh yes there we are right so what we're going to do on the back fin which is this straight edge here we're going to add some hinges now we need to use what do I normally use I normally use stone is it cobblestone wall or something like that I can't remember um, um, oh there it is cobblestone wall so we use some of that and we'll add a few hinges so every second block so on the keel level add one and then one two above add one two above add one and so on till we get to the top there like that so you've got one every other block now for the rudder itself I've got to read my notes uh, uh, so the bottom of the rudder is seven blocks so from the bottom part here we go one two three four five six seven like that and then up uh, 13 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 10 11 12 th is it 12 I just read my notes yeah you, yeah it's 12 so it's up 12 so just, sorry, I just misread everything right, so it's 12 and then forward 4 so 1 2 3 4 like that and then 3 1 2 3 like that so it's uh, 7 at the bottom, up 12, forward 4, forward 3 like that, so it drops one block. And then you can get rid of that hinge there if you want to. So, it doesn't really matter really, you can add the, you can actually get rid of this row of 3 and have the, the rudder build all the way along forward, up to that top hinge. So it's up to you if you want to build that as a full square rudder, and then add the row of 2, add a, or add a row of 2 there. You know, to make it a bit more... Uh, more designs, so it's up to you really. So if you want to recap, we just do seven, seven bottom, and then up thirteen, and then forward one, and then forward one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's your rudder basically. And then you just build down along the front of the uh, hinges like that, and then you just fill in the space in between with uh, red blocks. So I use the uh, well edit again. So it's sort of a, a varied design of uh, uh, f uh, rudder designs but uh, there we go so there we are there's the uh, rudder added which is basically a square with a tip on the bit on the top anyway that's all that crap done so what we're going to do now is for the propellers I've got to try and read where this is right so we go to the uh, above the uh, top hinge we've got the hinge top hinge there go to the blocks above it which is this block here and you're going to go to uh, fourth block down, so or actually one block back to that one, and you go fourth down, so that's one, two, three, fourth block down, and then we're going to go forward, which is that way. We're going to count forward uh, ten, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or make it eleven really onto that block, and then we're going to build out four, one, two, three, four. And then three rows of two, so it's two, 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 and two like that. So it's, that's your propeller shaft. And then on the end, you build forward one, and then add a yellow block. So I haven't got yellow selected, which really doesn't help. So we use yellow block there, and then for the propeller design, actually build two yellow forward. So one block red forward, two yellow forward. And for the propeller design, I was suggested to use Chronos Darth's. Uh, design but I, I never actually got around to looking at it so I'm going to carry on with the design I have so we build up 
three and then two out three and then two down three and then two across three and then two so it's a very simplistic design but you know it's it will do so that's the um the first propeller and normally i would build uh connect all this back or forward to connect to the rest of the ship but i'm not going to worry about that just yet because what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and build the second propeller first so from this row of four we're going to carry on counting back to build the next propeller and what we're going to do we're going to leave a th well, we're going to count back 32 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two so that's thirty two there and same again build out four so it's one two three four and then two 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 so two 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 and where the propeller is it does stick out from the side of the ship so really normally the propellers are tucked under the um un underneath the ship so if you want to really you can shorten the four to two if you want so it's two out rather than four and then go two two and two now this may uh I don't know actually, this may be a better design. So if instead of going out four, you go out two and then just go two, two, two under there. And then we build our propeller area. So we build one block of four, uh, one block of red and then two gold or yellow. And then we build our propeller. So it's up three plus two and then across three plus two and then down three plus two and then across three. Um, plus two. So yeah, that's the uh, second propeller. So now that now that we've, we've reduced that to two blocks, that top row, it's now a bit more underneath the ship. So I uh, don't look too bad. So right, we're going to go back to the first propeller, and we're from the prop, the centre of the propeller. Basically, we're going to build forward to connect to the rest of this, and uh, blend it in with the rest of the ship. So I just build the propeller shaft forward like that until it connects to the rest, and then do the same with the row above. Just build forward till it connects there. Same with the next one, all the way along till it connects there, and then the same for the top, like so. And that's that first propeller shaft like that. And then we do the same with the next one. So once again, from the centre, we just build all the way forward. This is going to be a bit longer because of where it is positioned on the ship. Like so, I could have done it. I could have done a different design, really, but uh, it's on there now. So I just carry on with the uh, design, uh, the prop shaft, and the propeller wing, if you like. like so, and then for the top row, like that, and there we go. That's both propellers done. So that's two of the four. So what you need to do now is just do the same on the other side. And as usual, I can cheat like hell and just use weld edit. So that's what I'm going to do. Eh, just scratch me eye. Got an itchy eye. Eh, right. That's a, an actual eyeball, not me arsehole. Um, so, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a block there and copy from that. So I go from there. And copy to the centre and then flip it over. So just as uh, night vision decides to die. Get that back, and then we copy to the center point there, and then we do the copy. So we go copy, flip to the right, and then we paste. And there we go, propellers on both sides. So now the ship is uh, well ready to move, basically, and uh, don't look too bad. It does look a bit weird because of the size of propellers. I suppose I could have done them a bit bigger. And it was suggested to me that I, I build them a bit bigger, but I never got around to actually looking up the design. So uh, apologies there, but uh, it's always open to interpretation if you want to adjust the design slightly for your needs. Remember, this is just a base. You don't have to follow it as gospel or take it as gospel. So uh, there you go. Right, so that is that bit done. And 
there are some more windows I just noticed I haven't done so we've got some windows on the top uh, boat deck so I'll just leave the propellers for now we've got the uh, the boat deck around here so um, yeah oh, I see where it is yeah it's the uh, windows and doors uh, situation so if you want to carry on building doors and windows on this back wall all the way around and do so I think I'll just add a few for the minute so I'll we'll, uh, we'll put a door in first so we'll get a door preferably a door not a wood block and we'll put a few windows in. I'm just going to do this at random as, as quickly as I can. Remember, it's just a base, so we don't need to follow it exact. And that's down to there, and then we'll just do that across the back. And of course, you've got the uh, the upper deck here. You've got the um, this uh, strange platform basically so you can use this as your advantage and add a couple of doors um, probably wouldn't help here though because uh, <laughs> there's nothing behind it so uh, put those blocks back and uh, put a couple of windows in instead and a uh, window there window there and a window there so that's the cop well, built all the way around to the center so that's that bit done so I'll do another quick copy paste to get this bit done so from there around to the center which is about there do the same again do the copy flipping paste copy flip paste and there we go that's that side done as well so I just sort of get that out of the way get those windows done and uh, that's that job there so yeah, getting quite a bit out of the way now. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly towards the front. And, uh, oh yeah, that little job we're going to do earlier on. Yeah, this one here. So um, what I was going to do is add a wall. Like on the uh, first funnel, just add a wall around the top of the uh, the white wall. Like so, just around the, the second funnel. Don't do it for the third funnel, because that is um, handrails. And we'll come back to that in another day. But it's just around funnel number two. We should just add the uh, white blocks There we go, that's the wall added around there. And um, I don't know if there were actually any windows on this deck house, I think. I don't think I put any on the... Uh, oh, actually, I think I have put some windows on this deck house. So if you want to add a few doors or windows to this um, funnel support, then by all means do so. But I don't think I added, I added many uh, to the one over there. Um, but we'll worry about that another day. Right, I think what I'm going to do now, I think, I think, I think... I'm going to do a jump cut because there's a few more things I need to write down and then we'll move on to uh, the next stage so uh, back in a minute okay back again now the next job we're going to move on to is the masts now the masts are uh, well there's two of them obviously and there will be one on top of the bridge which we're just going to head to now and we'll go to the uh, well just in front of the uh, forward funnel inside the, uh, the V shape which is built so we'll go to the uh, front wall here this one here, and we're going to go to. I'm trying to think actually. We're going to go to the twelfth block forward. So we find the center block of this wall here. Center block is there, and we're going to go to the twelfth block forward on the wood. So one block there, and that's ten, eleven, twelve. And on the twelfth block, we add the mast. Now, on the prototype, I can't remember what <laughs> color I used, um, but I'll build it in gray anyway. So we'll build the funneling, uh, not the funnel, the mast in gray. Um, I'm trying to think, what colour did, did I use? It wasn't grey, I didn't think it was red, it wasn't yellow. I oh, will go with grey anyway, you can build it any colour you want really. Um, so I build it in grey, <clears throat> and the mast itself is going to be 55 high, so that's the first block. And I shall build it up and use welded it to measure it, so I'll, I'll do it freehand and then measure it when I get to the top. So it should be 55 high, that's 55 five high, so that's 
How high is that? That is 54. Right, okay, then 55. There we go. So that's 55 high. <coughs> Excuse me. And then about one, two, three, four, five down, we build out three to the side. And then one, two, three, four, five down from there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's three out, six out. Same here. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one is one, two, three, fifth down. And that one is one, two, three, four, fifth down from there. So as you can see, that is the foremast. And then what we want to do is head to the back end of the boat deck to the area behind the third funnel. So that's that's the foremast done. So we're going to head down down to the back end and sort out funnel number th well mast number two, which is behind funnel number three. And what we're going to do, we're going to find the actually where is it actually? We need to go to uh, the funnel support. So this is the funnel support of obviously um, of funnel number three. And we go to the back wall, which is here. The centre block is there, and you're going to go to the third block back on the wood. So that's uh, one, two, three, and we start building the mast there. And this mast is also 55 high, so we go to uh, block one, and we build it 55 high. So I do freehand again. How many is that? That is 44. And that's 55. So there we are. Two masts, 55 high. And we go to the fifth block down. One, two, three, four, five. We build out three. Five down from there. One, two, three, four, five. And build out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the three above. Like that. Now, the way they're positioned, I don't think they are actually the same height. I think they may be a small. Uh, I don't know actually, I think they are the same height because the mast, uh, the bridge is three high and the deck house this is sat on is three high as well so I think they are roughly the same height maybe one or two blocks different but it doesn't really matter um, but they're both 55 high so that's uh, how that should be and if you want to as well you can have them slanted but I've built mine straight up um, but if you want to you can sort of have them slanted say instead of building 55 sort of build uh, a row of 10 and another row of 10 and another row of 10 sort of five rows of 10 or uh, four rows of seven or something like that. It's up to you how you want to do it. But I've just built it like that for now. Um, I may come back later on and uh, build the slant, but uh, we'll see. But that's the two masts. They're usually, I think on the real ship, there's more um, derricks and um, spurs as well for the mast, but I've just added the, the main basics of the uh, mast, so just to get them out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, what needs doing next? Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Just going to fly to the front end again, and I think what we could do, we can sort out this uh, um, area here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another quick jump cut because I haven't written down what I'm supposed to do next. So uh, I shall return in just a minute, and then we'll work on the uh, forecastle or the area here. So um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the uh, this area here, just behind the forecastle. Which is basically uh, cargo hatches and also the uh, rising of the um, the breakwater on the bow. So what we're going to do, we're going to go from the right hand side. And we've got the straight edge here. Straight edge along this bit here. And at the end you're going to put a single block. Like so. And then for the next 11 rows, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. You're going to increase it to 1 block high. So that's 1, 2, 3, Four, five, five. Hang on, just check that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So eleven. The first eleven rows are one block high. And for the next three rows, they're going to be one and a half high. So you're going to need the quartz uh, slab for this. So where's where is the quartz slab? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So we use the quartz slab, so you're going to make it uh, one, two, three, they're, th they're one high, and then add the slab to the top, making it one and a half high. So it's, it's going to be gradually building up to, towards the centre. So the first 11 are one high, well from this side they're one high if you look, and then from the in and then for the next three rows they're one and a half high. 
Right, so then the next four rows are going to be too high. So it's one, two, three, four. So those four rows are now too high. Although it's three if you count the uh, folksal and it's sort of higher still from this side. So really you need to be going from this side to get the, the full height. So the first 11 as you can see were one high, the next three were one and a half, the next four were two high. Right, and then for the next five rows they're going to be two and a half high. So what is it? It's uh, yeah, five rows. So one, that's one, and then we go two, three, four, five, and I just add the top to it. So one, two, three, four, like that. So it's those five rows are two and a half high. And then for the last four rows, I've got to be three high. So one, two, three, four, up to the centre like that. So there we are. That is how it should look in theory in height. And then what you do from the centre, centre to the ninth row back. So the, so the first nine rows from the centre basically. So one like that is going to be overhanging by one. So the first one like that overhangs by one. And then two, three, four. And then with the slabs you go five, six, seven, eight, nine like that. So the first nine rows, including the centre, so centre plus eight really, are overhanging by one. And so the uh, folks all should look something like that. It looks a bit weird. And if you want to, you can reduce the amount of blocks that are being used. So if you go on the inside, where the rows of two begin, you can get rid of the uh, the first blocks of the two, and then the same with the three. So it's basically you have a white block at the bottom exposed, and the uh, the diagonal row is just a, is really just diagonal. Then you don't have to worry about um, uh, it being too bulky. So if we were to remove these blocks here, and it will be, and then if you look at it, it's a bit more streamlined. So it uh, looks a bit better. But so that is that side, and then what you want to do from the uh, from the first row, we go back to the first row, and then from that first block there, along the side, you're going to add uh, iron bars. So if I find the iron bars again, we just build the handrails all the way down the side, like so, down to about there. And there we go. That is the uh, well, one side of the uh, folksal details doing done, do, uh, bleh, doing all done. And what I'm going to do, I use the copy paste again. So I go from there, and we use copy paste flip in whatever up to there, and we do the copy flip to the right and paste, and basically just do the same on the other side, like that. And there we go. That's both sides. And it should look something like that. Looks a bit weird, and you can adjust it if you want to to make it look a bit more streamlined, but uh, that's really as far as I'm willing to go with that. Right, so the next job we want to do is head to the front wall of that piece of superstructure, which is basically this bottom line here, this bottom, well, this bottom section here. And the front wall here is, is this one, it's the uh, square wall as you can see, so the front wall of this. And we're going to go to the side, the end blocks, which is this one here. And then you're going to count out 12 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then with yellow or uh, clay or whatever colour I used in the prototype. What was it? What, what did I use? Oh, it was yellow hardened clay. That's what I used. So on the 12th block, we build a crane. We will start building a crane. So I'll just double check it to make sure it is the 12th block. So it's from this corner here. Go okay, from there. 12th block so that's 11 and that's the 12th so that's fine and the crane itself is going to be 15 high so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and we add a counterweight to the back like that and then back down to the bottom and on the sixth block up so 1 2 3 4 5 6 we start building the crane arm which is 21 so that's 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1. And I just double check that to make sure that is 21. Up to there. And yep, as it says at the end of that pink sentence, it is 21. Alright, so that's the crane. 
And at the base of the crane, we just add, or at the bottom of the crane, we add the base, which is basically white blocks, like so. And that's the first crane. You, you can use iron bars if you want to to create the rigging effect um, for the cables and that, but uh, I won't bother for now. So that's that side. We'll do the same on the other side now. So from this corner again, we build or count out 12. So that's number one. And we go out to number 12, which is 10, 11, 12. So we build our crane there. Once again, 15 high, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Counterweight. And then the sixth up from the bottom, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we had a crane, to, uh, crane arm. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1. And I'll measure that to make sure it's 21. And there we go, that's 21. And then we add the base around the bottom. And there we go. That's the crane arms all done. And then the last job for today, hopefully, reading my notes, is the cargo hatches themselves. So we've got the cargo cranes, now we just need the cargo hatches. So back down to that front wall again, the straight wall here. And we're going to go to the centre block. And you're going to leave uh, a, a five block gap. So on the wood you go one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block we build our cargo hatch. Now you're going to need the uh, quartz slabs again if you're building it the same way as me. So the cargo hatch itself is 15 wide. So that's that's uh, seven either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for the sides it's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then join them together across the front. Like so. And then what you want to do is just add the roof, which is using stone uh, quartz slabs. Um, well, it's not the roof, is it? It's a cover. But um, just add the cover as quick as I can. I don't know the code for the, uh, the the quartz slab, so um, I can't weld it at this bit. But I'll just do it as quick as I can. Bear with me on this one. Missing them as I go along and creating more than I need. Nearly there. And there we go, that's that one cargo hatch done. And you can see it's one and a half blocks high because you've got the, the quartz slab and then a quartz block and then the quartz slab on top. And then what we want to do is go to uh, or leave a three block gap. So from the centre of the cargo hatch, so this one here, and forward of it, so one, two, three, bl three blocks forward, or three block gap basically, so one, two, three block gap. And on the fourth block, we start building another hatch. And this one is 15 wide again, so 7 either side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then it's 8 for the side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then join them together across. And then you add the quartz roof to it. And I just do a few blocks because I can't be bothered to do it again. But so uh, you get the idea of what I'm trying to explain, hopefully. Actually, I think I might just do the whole thing. It may may not take it, well, it won't take as long because it's a shorter cargo hatch. Do 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 bidi bidi baboo. And there we go, that's the cargo hatch done. So that is two cargo hatches, two cargo cranes, and the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the breakwater on the bow. And uh, that's pretty much the details done for that. Uh, I will double check later on to see if there's anything else that needs to be added, but uh, that won't be done until the next part. So this is part nine, pretty much up and done. So we've got the propellers, rudders, a few walls done, cranes, cargo hatches, swimming pool, and a few staircases done. So we've got quite a bit done, and also a few windows. 
and uh, that's pretty much it for today and also we've got the masts so yeah that's pretty much it for today uh, part 10 which is the next part obviously will be the final part hopefully so I want to get this all done before the uh, end of the week so part 10 should be the last part and that will be lifeboats um, the name of the ship the Normandy uh, a few doors and windows a few staircases um, and a few tidying pardon me get the hiccups now and a few areas that need tidying up so there's still a bit to do but um, we're getting through it so uh, yeah we're getting, we're getting uh, quite a way through this now so yeah part 10 should be the final part and then I will disappear for a week and then I'll come back and uh, try and do something else so we'll uh, have to wait and see there is a from the depths video that will come along as well of the ship but uh, that will be, probably be a follow following week uh, of that so yeah so we're down nine parts and only part ten still to go so that should be the final part <sighs> right so yeah that's uh, that'll be for the next part so uh, this is rich signing off logging off disappearing uh, and i shall uh, return in part ten so uh, bye for now <laughs>